What's everybody? It's Sentinel Primac, and today I'm gonna bring you a sort of a walkthrough through iOS 9, the first beta. So over here we're greeted with the new wallpaper, extremely sharp. And then slide down, you get notification center. And there's a new widget which is Find My Friends. And for some reason on my device, I do not have the battery widget and for notifications you have an all new view it will list them by dates so today yesterday Sunday and so on instead of uh, by apps so that's pretty cool and the new typeface which is uh, San Francisco compared to Helvetica new and for spotlight you still get your original search by sliding down on any page or you can swipe in from the left you can get all your proactive features you can show more if you want show more you get more more stuff and suggestions for the apps are the ones that are uh, commonly used or just downloaded in multitasking, you get this all new card view, which is pretty neat. And as you can see for the cards, they have rounded corners now. Very cool. And as you can see, there's a wallet, which replaces Passbook uh, as in name, but functionality-wise, it's the same. With some new stuff like gift card, coupons, that you can add. There's an iCloud drive, uh, which is disabled by default. So you have to go into settings, <clears throat> go to settings, go to your iCloud, and enable it from there. Touch ID and passcode. You can now have the option to choose four or six, or custom, but by default it should be six. There's a new battery uh, battery tab now in settings, and you have an all new mode, the low power mode, which disables a lot of functionality to stretch your battery life by three extra hours. And when you turn it on, the icon on the top turns yellow. And in wallpaper, when you choose a no new wallpaper let's say choose this you see that the button for still and perspective are now different from the previous one which was like a translucent banner also for the spotlight you can activate Siri on the top and you get a new UI for Siri Is pretty cool and when you use when you activate Siri there's a new vibration there's a new vibration feel feels very different and seems much more powerful than the previous one and for Siri uh, there's an besides having the UI as the watch when you finish talking to Siri the colors explode and you can see the you can see the ripple effect of the translucent so let me uh, double that. What's the weather like tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow. As you can see, when before it said the forecast for tomorrow, you can see that splash or ripple effect. Really neat. And the circle icon from Siri is now gone, and it's just a simple microphone. Also, in settings, you have the option to. Uh, use the side switch for lock rotation or mute. Uh, I didn't select mine yet, so there's no check mark next to it. Very cool stuff. Also, find my iPhone and find my friends are now default apps, and you cannot delete them. And as of beta 1 for iOS 9, the 
newsstand is gone but the new news app is still not there yet and the music app is not updated to the one that includes the Apple Music just three simple buttons on the bottom and in multitasking because you have these big cards you no longer have your uh, quick contacts on the top and unlike before where the closer you get to the bottom for sliding between uh, between apps the faster it gets and now in iOS 9 no matter where you swipe it's just as fast and sadly there's no option to clear all recent apps it kinda sucks in photos there's gonna be a uh, new sliding option on the bottom so you can pan and scroll to see whatever you like faster than before as of right now uh, it's quite a big battery drain on the phone and for updates you see there's a instead of like see more information this is uh, there's this language it says updates update cell what's new it's quite fluid for beta 1 uh, hard resets are quite slow for the time and I hope you guys enjoyed that and if you want the download link for iOS beta 1 iOS 9 beta 1 you can go to my description there will be a site where you can choose which uh, download you want they come in torrents so you're gonna need like Vuz or uTorrent to download it and uh, it's gonna ask for your model number so you can find the model number on the back of your device and once you do that you should make a backup on iTunes and then option for Max it's option click on check for updates in iTunes and then you can select the IPSW file from there to download and if you have any more questions please leave them in the comment section below and thanks for watching